Alzheimer's disease by Joe Hennessy and Jack Nasrallah. Alzheimer's is a disease that affects multiple parts of neuron functions, leading to neuron death and impairments of brain functions. Most notable of, of these lost functions is the loss of memory in Alzheimer's victims. Normal neuron function goes as followed. A neuron cell in the brain receives an impulse at the apical dendrites, and this impulse is carried through the neuron cell all the way down the axon to the axon terminal down here. Once it is at the axon terminal, it is released through a synapse to the next neuron cell. This space in between is called the synaptic cleft, and the impulse is carried through neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters act as ligands that trigger the ion-gated receptors on the next neuron. These receptors that are activated by the neurotransmitters open up the ion gates that in turn create an impulse that is carried throughout the next neuron cell and the process goes on until it reaches an action center in the brain. However, in individuals with Alzheimer's, there are three main problems that come up. The first are these amyloid plaques, which is right, right here, these being the neurons. These amyloid plaques are um, abnormal deposits of protein fragments, and uh, they're most commonly the, the beta amyloid 42 which can affect neuron um, neurotransmitter communication. Also, unclumped forms of beta amyloid accumulation may also be problems. However, scientists are still not sure if these plaques are a byproduct or a cause of Alzheimer's disease. The second problem that arises in individuals with Alzheimer's is called neurofibrillary tangles. These tangles are caused by abnormal clumps of a protein called tau. Tau binds to and stabilizes microtubules, which guide nutrients, nutrients and molecules from cell bodies to axons and dendrites. As seen here in this figure, these small blue strands are stabilizing tau molecules, and this larger figure is a microtubule on the neuron. In Alzheimer's, tau chemically changes and it is caused to detach from microtubules and attach to other tau molecules, clumping and tangling within the cell. So as you see here, this is a tangled clump of tau protein in here. And as these tau proteins detach from the microtubules, the microtubule subunits fall apart, as seen here. And this, is, this disrupts the microtubule network and creates blocks in the neuron transport system. This disassociation can also cause blocks in synaptic signaling. The third issue that arises in individuals with Alzheimer's is a result of the other two. It is the loss of neuronal connections and cell death. As these synaptic connections here between neur neuron cells are lost, then certain groups of neurons stop, sh stop functioning and begin to degenerate. When neurons lose their connections, they can't function properly and eventually die. As neuronal death spreads, connections between networks of neurons break down. Affected regions shrink in a process called brain atrophy. By the final stage of Alzheimer's disease, Brain tissue is severely shrunken and there is widespread damage in the brain. Alzheimer's disease for the past few decades has been on the rise in America and it is one of the most prevalent diseases in aging Americans. 5.1 million people have the disease Alzheimer's. This is an estimate provided by the Alzheimer's Foundation of America. 
Studies have also shown that the risk enhances with advanced age, and more and more people are expected to be diagnosed with the disease as time advances. One of the people who has Alzheimer's is my grandmother, Jean Nasrallah. She lives in a memory care unit here in Omaha. She and the other residents there are cared for by a nursing staff 24-7 due to the fact that their memory loss is very advanced and they cannot take care of themselves. Alzheimer's disease is a truly degenerative disease to which uh, there is no cure at this time. Ho hopefully with our advanced research, we can find a cure to Alzheimer's and save millions of lives in the process. Thank you for listening.